promised the video, so here it is. I did make an adjustment to this piece right here. Um, seems that it just didn't fit perfectly. And uh, I wasn't going to discard it and go get another one. When all I'm really looking to do is to keep uh, peering eyes from being able to look into this crack right here. So, what I did was I just got some duct tape that matched it and taped it up and it's overlapping and there, there is no light coming through. This other side over here is perfect. Nothing wrong with it at all. So, um, I'm going to keep it like it is. Now, the only thing I have a problem with is um, this camera. It's a driving camera. And it's kind of an insurance in case somebody does something really stupid while you're driving. And I'm going to go through the trouble of putting it on the window. Uh, because it's something we need. Um, there's just people out there that are ready to sue you for any reason. Now, what I want to show you here is my window covers. I've got the ones on the inside and the ones on the outside. And the it, and if you pay attention to what you're doing, this works perfectly. Uh, and I don't really have a camera stand to show you how this works. I don't know if this is going to cause my camera to blink out or not. I'll give it a shot. There we go. Alright, so the way I've got it is I fold it open, okay, and boom, I've got my two pieces on the inside. It was on the inside. I had to move things around, but there. You want to keep them on the inside, and I'm keeping this part towards that part, point there, and this part over here. Then I take this, and I open the visor, and then I just close that one little piece up there. And I'll give you a, a view of that once I'm done, so you'll see what I'm talking about. And I take this little device right here, which is just a basic exercise mat, and I use that against that, and that presses that. Now, this is where having things like canes and stuff like that come in handy. Not only do they let you get to things that are kind of far away, but they uh, let you do things like this. See, this would be a big pain in the ass to do if it wasn't for this rubber stopper. See how I got that in there? It tucked it right in there real good. This stuff here is just made to tuck in on its own. And boom, that's it. If I really wanted to get it to where it was completely stealthy, I'd just uh, get some tape and tape that up in the corner and make sure it stayed up there. Uh, there's other ways of getting it done. There's more than nine ways to skin a cat, as they say. But, you know, I try to tuck this in between the uh, thing where it bites on that little pole to hold your sun visor up. And if you do this right, you cover up all the holes and the sun is out there. I mean, it is full blast right now. And uh, I'll tell you right now, uh, you're not going to get nobody be able to peek in on you. They're not going to be able to see that you're in here. This right here, I probably need to go ahead and tape that because there's a law officer that will get in there with a big bright flashlight and he will shine that light in that little bitty crack. So I'm going to get my trusty duct tape and uh, i got to get the black. And I'm going to cover that spot up. But then again, you know, there's other things I can do. I can just put a piece of tape on there, something temporary for the night. But uh, as long as you get it in there pretty damn tight to where they can't see in, uh, you can have plausible deniability that, you know, your car is unattended. Even if you leave the engine running, because some people do that. Some people do leave their engine running for a brief time when they go inside the store. Uh, whatever reason they may have, you know, they might have a weak battery and they may want to run their cooler or so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and put this away, but I, I, I want to show you these these things the way I've got them. I've got the bed in here. Uh, right now I've got it in travel mode. So this box is what I leave my arm on. That's where I keep my drink. And uh, this fan right here blows cool air on your leg, enabling you to 
shut off the air conditioner and you still got some cool air on your leg. And when you're driving down the road, that makes a difference. Now at night, I pull this up and I put that on the dashboard and that way I got a little bit of air blowing on me. I'm thinking I might go ahead and uh, install an outlet in the back and plug this in the back so I'll have a little bit of wind on my feet maybe. I'm not sure. I, I just got to work those little things out. Those, But those are little things that can drive you nuts if you let it. So, now these, these are the uh, camp sinks, okay, and they're supposed to fold up and store in a very tight place for camping. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to use them for storage inside here, I'm not sure, I may or may not. I may use them to wash clothes when I go into the, into the gym, you know, it's something collapsible and something I can use to wash with soap, rinse with water, so forth and so on. And then um, I could take all my clothes out in the bucket, bring them to the car, plug them into the inverter, run my uh, clothes spinner, spin them dry, and uh, run me a clothesline someplace and I'll be able to get my clothes dry. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch on to the next video.